Bruh, speaking of Pokemon, you want to see a Pokemon Diamond speed run? Bruh, Small Ant made this this Pokemon Diamond speed brilliant Diamond speed run, and it's only it's only five minutes long. So I'm like, I'm not. Is he gonna show the whole speed run? That's kind of nuts if he could do that. I don't know. I'm not a speed runner. I beat Pokemon Brilliant Diamond in 17 minutes. With 17 minutes? With a level five Turtwig, a fishing rod, and a lot of sandwiches. This speedrun is a weird, complicated mess, and I'm gonna do my best to explain it. I started the game and quickly changed the settings so the text was faster, the battle animations were off, and the whole run was silent and incredibly awkward. Yeah, this saves time for some reason. Okay. I rush to the start of the game as you normally would, get the best starter, and grab the running shoes from mom. Now, the fun begins. I Wait, started the game as you normally would, get the best- Turtwig's the best starter, bro! Dude, you gonna do Chimchar like that? Aw, man! Yeah, this saves time for some reason. I rush to the start of the game as you normally would, get the best starter, and grab the running shoes from mom. Now, the fun begins. I open up the menu to look at Turtwig, and perform the first glitch of the run. Menu storage. Or as I like Whoa. to call it, sandwich making. By pressing the two Z buttons on my controller in quick succession, the game opens up a duplicate menu on top of the existing one. If you close the duplicate menu, it tricks the game into thinking there's no menu open anymore, so you can run around as if there isn't a giant box blocking your view. Bruh. Oh, and this regular menu, by the way, this is the bread to the sandwich. Bread is pretty great. Going into a door and eating a slice of bread Bread's will stop good. you from entering the house and Bread's freeze good. the entire True. world. This means what? that wild Pokemon, they don't appear anymore. What? Story events, like talking to Dawn, oh doesn't my trigger. God, dude, Dawn's clone so doesn't broken. trigger either. Trainers? No, they're blind now. You can Bruh. freely walk all the way to Jubilife with nothing to stop you. But now there's a problem. The whole world is still frozen. What do you do to unfreeze it? Well, you're gonna have to reset the game, but you haven't saved yet. And by using the glitch in this way, it won't let you open the menu again. So here's how the speedrun gets around that. I do the glitch multiple times, stacking the menus, creating three pieces of bread, then toss the top one away to trick the game into thinking it's unpaused. Now, without seeing anything, I walk into the door and eat another Very piece of bread. Cool. This freezes the world, but I still have another menu open. I so I'm able to you. run up to Jubilife and save Dude, the game with the remaining so piece broken? of bread, then reset the game. Th by the way, this is one of those games that I don't think needs to exist. I, I know that there's, I'm sure, people that like Brilliant Diamond, but this is just one of those games that did not need to ever be made. Like Pokemon Diamond is just as good. It's the same game. Like I, I don't, I don't know why. This is clearly a cash cow, right? Like there, there's no reason why this game was actually made. Is there anyone in chat that actually likes this game? That actually thinks this game needs to exist? To get it back to normal. Money maker. Now obviously. I bet you're thinking three pieces of bread. That's not a risk. People wanted the remake, but they wanted the remake like Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Okay, like with an alternate storyline, with a difference. It's this. It, they don't want to remake like an actual one-to-one -one remake. Spectable sandwich. So it's time to pick up the main ingredient, the ham. What? Well, it's actually the old rod, but just just go with it. It's Damn! Hard, right? By using the menu storage I'm glitch, it's possible you. to register the old rod onto two different slots. So, when pressing the plus button, this pops up. This menu is the delicious ham. Ooh. When you try to use the old rod on land, Rowan's words echo. And with this text box, not only can it freeze an action, but if an action is currently Wait, frozen, it resumes as normal. This ham oh is powerful. God. With the near infinite power of ham sandwiches, the next goal of the speedrun is to go straight to the Pokemon League. Bruh. Fortunately, this lady what? loves ham sandwiches and is gonna help us do it. The action that she performs is to create a text box telling us, uh, the GWS isn't ready yet. And then to push the player back. She has an unusual taste though. Her perfect sandwich, one slice of ham with three pieces of bread stacked on top. I'll explain why. I walk into her and distract her with the first piece of bread. This keeps the text box open and allows me to run away. Interrupting her action like this freezes the Bruh. world too, so I'm able to breeze past Barry and a few trainers while I find a jumpable ledge. I jump the ledge here, but in the middle of it, I press B to close the text box, closing oh a menu in the God. process. By closing her text, it allows her to telekinetically push me into the sky. And what the last the piece of bread Why is just is there, so, so I broken? can't touch the ham yet. I run back to Jubilife, toss that bread, and tap down to eat the ham, which fixes all the freaky stuff going on in the world. Aside from the whole floating thing. Uh, uh, I'm not what? done with her yet, though. We need her telekinetic push one Bro, more this time. this is easily one of the best cooking videos I've ever seen. Like, without a doubt. So we grab two pieces of bread, interrupt her with one of them, and run back down to Route Dog, 202, where I'm flying nutty. high enough to run right over the trees, out of bounds. I do still have a piece of bread, which I'm saving for later, but now we're gonna run through the void until we reach the Pokemon League. That's By following crazy. a little map and echolocating using wall box for a few minutes, I navigate past Orberg, Eterna, and Celestic Town to run straight into an invisible wall. Bonk? 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 
Weird. This is where the telekinetic push comes into play. I can close our text box, which then pushes me through the invisible wall, and I'm now under the Pokemon oh League. My but it, God. it's not loaded into the game, so I have to use that remaining piece of bread to save and reset. Upon reloading, I'm under the waterfall, so I find a conveniently placed cutscene trigger to enter the building and come oh to the final God, challenge dude, of the run. What the getting frick? past the Elite Four members Yo, and I'm Cynthia. Well, I, I gotta get How do people figure this shit out? How do people actually figure this out? Pass this dude first, so I get some bread, interrupt the escort later, clip out of bounds, and save and reset behind him to enter the loading zone. Finally, after a long and grueling, okay. like, 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 10 minute adventure, uh, I reach the Elite Four uh, with a Congrats, level five bro. Tortwig that's won a single battle. Oh, and did I mention a sandwich isn't going to work here? To get past these Elite Four members, I need to do the unthinkable, the unbelievable, the impossible. Inverted sandwich. Meat no, on the outside. No one's ever been able to summon him. Bread on the inside. By using ham to interrupt the game while I walk through the door, it pauses the room entrance oh animation. God, so I'm able to walk so to the top up. of the room and use another ham to resume the entrance animation. And then the game is like, oh yeah, he's walking into the room. Just go right ahead, straight through the wall. <laughs> the timing on this is actually pretty tough. So getting it right four times oh in a row was nerve wracking. God, uh, but on this run, I pulled it off all on the first try. Only Cynthia was left, and because she doesn't have any locked doors, it's actually really easy to skip her with just a single piece of ham. Just walk in, let her start talking, eat the ham, Rowan busts into the room early. There's a time and place for everything, but not now, Cynthia. She's just so stunned that I take the elevator and walk into the Hall of Fame. Let's go! Oh my god. After dude. all is said and done, is I so enter the broken. credits with 17 minutes in the game. Congrats. 20 minutes in real life, and a fourth place spot on the speedrun leaderboard. I just learned the speedrun today, but I thought it was interesting enough for a dedicated YouTube video, so oh I hope you enjoyed. Thanks to Pulsify- Dude, what the frick? How, how is it so broken? Oh my god, this is like what the biggest media franchise in the world. How is it so broken? That's actually insane. You love it? Dude, that is so weird. I, it's like, what? <laughs> Nani? Nani? It's pretty cool. That's really cool. Dude, Small Light's amazing. I love this man's content. It just works. It just works. It just works. <laughs> God damn. That's, that's actually kind of whack. Not gonna lie. It's a little bit sussy baka. A little bit sussy. That's hilarious. Fourth place for speedruns. Yeah, that's crazy, dog. That's crazy, dog. Have you seen Minecraft World Records? I, I don't know. I don't. I don't do that stuff. I'm not a big speedrun dude. Watch FNAF lore by MatPat. No, no, I don't think I will do that. But I do appreciate you asking me to. That's very kind. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam.